in the form of a dog. A voice came from heaven. I said, uh, he said, you are my son and I love you. I am very ple pleased with you. Amen. What does love look like? Can you imagine? How do you know when someone loves you? Sometimes they tell you with words. And sometimes people might show they love you by their actions. Can you tell me about a time when people show their love towards you? You have, right? Today's scripture really involves both speaking love and showing love by actions. Our Bible passage this morning is about baptism. When someone is baptized, it's a sign for everyone to see that he or she belongs to God and to the church family. When people are baptized, they are saying, that they are responding to how much they are loved by God and how much they love God. It also shows the baptized people promise to love others by the ways they act. When we see someone baptized, we remember, we remember our own baptism. We also remember our parents sit down, in sit down, in oh, about she... those oh, sit down. in our church family, in our street church family. We are reminded of God's love. John the Baptist came before Jesus and prepared people for him. He knew Jesus was the savior of the world. And he told people, they need to follow Jesus. John was the one who baptized Jesus. When he dipped Jesus into the water and lifted him back up, a dove came down and landed on Jesus. And the voice was heard that it exclaimed, I love you. It wasn't the voice of John. It wasn't the voice of Jesus. Do you know whose voice it was? It was the voice of God. Everyone was silent as a voice boomed from the sky. This is the son that I love. I am pleased with him. I love him. Today our heart says, love you. This is a reminder of our baptism. When God claims us and tells us we are loved children of God. We are also reminded we can show love of God to others by our actions as well. From today's scripture, I wonder why John was silent during the baptism. I wonder why Jesus was silent during the baptism. I wonder why they were both silent, but it was God's voice that perhaps matters most. I wonder if you ever hear God's voice speaking to you. I wonder 
what God is trying to tell this street church, all of you, for our prayer, instead of praying hands, we will shape our hands like hearts to remind us of love. Can you place your hands in this position? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's pray together. God of love. 